what happens when you accept people for as they are? Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. So what happens when we quit trying to change people, whether it's people that we're closest to or whether it's people that we're not so close to, but maybe we work around or associate with, but we're always trying to change people. We're always trying to fix them or make them better or give them suggestions of how they can do things better. And I know that many people have good intentions and they mean well when they try to help others be differently or different than how they are. And yet it often just doesn't work. And when we try to tell others how they should live or when we try to um, uh, fix other people, maybe when they don't want to be fixed, um, often things just don't seem to work. We frustrate ourselves, we frustrate them, um, we frustrate the relationship, it can cause friction, um, it can cause problems in the relationship. We can find ourselves always concerning ourselves of, well, you know, they need to do this, they need to do that. Um, um, how can I uh, talk to them so that they will make the change that they need to? Now, I'm not talking about not encouraging people or not inspiring people. Um, or not even correcting. Sometimes we have to correct some, someone. Someone, all they need is some encouragement and some inspiration. And they'll make those changes. But I'm talking about when we have to go way beyond that. When we're constantly um, in, in a relationship where we're um, not satisfied with the way a person is. So what do we do? Well, first of all, it depends upon what we're talking about. Every situation is different. Every result and every solution is different. And so for me, um, if I've encouraged someone and I've seen something that needs to be corrected and I've talked about it with them, um, depending upon the relationship, how close I am to them, um, you know, if, if their behavior affects me, and they're not going to change it, likely I have to step back at some level in the relationship. I may have a limited relationship. I may have no relationship. Um, I always believe that if you have no relationship, let that person know that you love them. Anyhow, you just can't be around them with unacceptable behavior. And yet, what about people that are just, it's who they are. It's their personality. And um, they're not going to change and we love them anyhow. You know, I think when we are constantly trying to change someone that is not going to change at this time, we only frustrate ourselves. And usually we don't get the results that we want and often we frustrate them. And so what I have found that works for me is that I simply let go and I let them be who they are. Remember, our will is not always you know, what someone else wants. You know, just because we have the best intentions for them, that may or may not be what they want. They may not be willing to do the work to make it happen. Maybe they have a different direction in their life than we understand at this time. And so often when we accept people for who they are, the way they are, and we quit trying to change them, often we can then embrace the goodness in them and they can embrace the goodness in us and we quit frustrating ourselves and often we quit frustrating them and the relationship as well. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I do hope you like, share, subscribe and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.